reference. Now, reference is an act by which a speaker or writer uses language to enable a listener or reader to identify something. Right? A reference is an act by which a speaker or writer uses language to enable a listener or reader to identify something. So, speaker is using a, a reference and he's enabling, he uses certain words which are enabling the listener to understand what the speaker is saying or what uh, the object is being referred to. Similarly, a, a writer also uses a reference and he enables his reader to identify something or to know about something like what, what is being referred to. So all the names which we have, all the pronouns which we have, all of them function as references, right? Now the words Jennifer, <coughs> friend or she can be used to refer to many entities in the world, right? So all of them, they are references so as i said all the names which we have those are references so uh, the the names uh, the nouns and the pronouns they are references now we can uh, sometimes instead of using noun and pronoun we can use certain expressions to refer to certain things uh, we can use expressions such as the blue thing give me the blue thing now you are referring uh, something by using this the blue thing right so this is how uh, sometimes we we can invent names uh, for example uh, when when the bell rings and you are asked to open the door and you uh, your, your parents or someone asks who is there and you say uh, driver uncle now driver uncle is only uh, a sort of reference that you are using for that person otherwise the person has his own name that can be used as reference but you are saying driver uncle because because of the role or because of the profession you have uh, you have invented a new reference for that person right so uh, th these references uh, can be nouns or pronouns or these can be invented but their function would remain the same that you uh, actually help your uh, uh, listener or reader identify uh, that what uh, what are the objects you are talking about now as we said uh, that uh, references are used by speaker and a writer similarly uh, those references are uh, inferred by the listener and uh, reader right so whenever you, you you are using a reference your reader or your listener they infer that reference and this can best be understood by uh, these examples like if someone says can i look at your chomsky right now you know chomsky is name of a scholar so you cannot have a chomsky so what your your friend is asking you is uh, about a book written by Chomsky maybe so he is using this Chomsky th this word Chomsky as a reference towards a book right so you you say yes why not you can have this so it means you have successfully uh, uh, understood the reference <clears throat> and uh, you have got to know that it is actually the book which the person is referring to S uh, similarly you say we saw Shakespeare in London. Like maybe some of your friends visited uh, London and on their return, they tell you that we saw Shakespeare in London. So you would infer that uh, Shakespeare here means either a play by Shakespeare or maybe uh, a statue in, in museum or something that is, uh, or maybe a volume of Shakespearean plays in library so uh, again the reference Shakespeare is not uh, uh, you can say name of of a person Shakespeare or it is not referring to the to the uh, to the person or playwright Shakespeare rather this is being referred to either a play that was uh, being performed in London it is 
the collection of works those are uh, uh, actually shakespearean works collection of shakespearean works or maybe some sort of uh, statue in uh, any museum so you understand this it means you have successfully inferred the reference that is being used by uh,